First thing that's probably worth mentioning is the recently reported Napoli 3 uh, trial that was reported at the ASCO GI Cancer Symposium in January. Uh, and this was a re- international randomized phase three study comparing a regimen called Nalary Fox, which is basically using nanoliposomal irinotecan in substitution for free irinotecan in the fulfirinox regimen and comparing that to um, another frontline standard gem- of gemcitabine and nab paclitaxel. And basically, this was a positive study, uh, meaning that this Nalary Fox combination. Uh, did show a significant uh, survival benefit over gemnab paclitaxel. Um, the the magnitude of that that survival benefit, I will say, was relatively modest, and and perhaps more importantly, the median survival really matched that of the historic data with just fulfirinox. So whether it, it begs the question whether Nalary Fox will. Uh, emerge as or, or supplant fulfirinox as a frontline standard um, uh, despite what is technically uh, level one uh, positive evidence uh, for this combination. So I think it, it's, it was a good study to, to do. Whether it will be lead to wholesale practice changes is perhaps uh, debatable. And that's something I think we um, will have to kind of grapple with in terms of both clinical practice and uh, thinking about clinical trial design in the future, whether which chemotherapy uh, platform we should be sort of uh, building upon. So that's sort of the, that was sort of the um, uh, most relevant uh, study that was um, uh, reported this year. I, I then kind of turned to um, looking at I'll call beyond chemotherapy and and looking at some more targeted therapies and immunotherapy uh, for pancreas cancer, trying to identify sort of what amounts to very small molecular subsets of patients who may benefit from, whether it be immunotherapy or uh, certain other uh, agents based on um, uh, genetically actionable alterations. For example, uh, the small percentage of patients who have KRAS G12C mutations and, and the role of drugs such as sotorasib and uh, adagrasib, um for that subset of patients. Uh, patients who have um, RAF or NRG fusions, uh, of, of which there are targeted therapies um, that have shown activity. Um, the, the biggest subset of patients really is this um, BRCA or PALB2, or maybe more broadly, this uh, HRD, homologous recombination deficient uh, subgroup of patients, um, just because they're, um, they have implications for both um, uh, platinum-based chemotherapy, but as well as PARP inhibitors and, and sort of expanding on uh, uh, PARP inhibition, um, combining PARP inhibitors, for example, with immunotherapy. And then I just touched briefly on sort of where we're at with evaluating immunotherapy in pancreatic cancer, which to date has been only modestly uh, successful, nothing that's really been transformative, but um, just sort of the forays in in the clinical trial realm that we're uh, taking in in that arena, Um, including sort of novel immune checkpoints, uh, as well as even cellular therapies.